This whole project is about a very outstanding work of our collection. It is about uh, a work which has two sides and it is a work that has therefore two titles and the two titles are Revolution and Apocalyptic Landscape painted by Ludwig Meidner in the years 1912 and 1913. This work consists of two paintings painted on the same canvas from one side and from the other side. The whole painting was um, covered in cracks and small losses on both sides, on the revolution side more than on the other side. And um, those cracks and loose particles needed extensive consolidation. We also cleaned the entire surface, which was also difficult because of the very, very thick pastos way the paint was applied and the many cracks. You have to be especially careful not to damage anything. The conservators, they know the object best because they spend hours and hours. They are watching how is the topography, how is the, how is the color looking. So if they say, we would like to know what is the kind of yellow here, what is the kind of blue there, um, it helps us to then actually establish the palette of the artist. What kind of pigments did he use? We took small particles. Those particles are put either between two small glasses to be able to look at them under the microscope and whatever or they're embedded in a resin and then you can further analyze them. So we're really also thinking about creating a pool of data, creating knowledge, of course disseminating the knowledge to the wider public and uh, by doing so fulfilling one of the main requirements from the Bank of America to actually create some new knowledge which can be shared with the wider public mechanical properties of the canvas in terms of its vibration were measured by um, a mechatronic specialist from the TU in Berlin. She took sh some measurements in the beginning in its old frame and in the end after we restretched it. And she told me that the vibration of the canvas has narrowed down to a micrometer. It's a great success and actually it's not visible to the naked eye anymore. We needed a new frame which presented a number of challenges, the main of which was um, actually uh, developing a device to frame the painting and stretch it at the same time. The stretcher inside the frame is actually stretchable by uh, knots or bolts that are on threads that are attached to the stretcher. It was wished that the painting at all times can be visible from both sides at the same time. And it should be presented on either a pedestal or inside a wall where a window is cut out so that you can look at the painting on both sides. There was the frame manufacturer from Munich. There were two restorers here in Berlin in our museum, Hannah Streicher and Eva Ries. There was the Radken Forschungslabor with their technology. There was the Technical University who was helping with other issues. And there were like the art historians like me and my colleague Dieter Scholz uh, working on 
the, the art historian dimension of the work. In the end, this interdisciplinary approach helped the great success of this renovation process because it is a complex work, which a complex structure behind it, like it's not a normal painting. And so it was of great help that so many persons from different professions came together to work on this project.